guys, Baze, the Wolf, Grace, and Hobby, and today we're going to do some FPV news. So this is a little update of stuff going on here. Um, things have come up between emails, tickets, etc. Uh, things have been sent to us, new products and stuff like that. Um, so Should we start with the most popular? The jumper? Oh yeah, what right. happened with that? So Jumper Radio, um, they did not have their FCC certification and for the good part of May of 2019 and all of June, they went back and forth with the FCC to tune and tweak whatever they have to do for the F FCC certification, I don't know. But they finally got it. So Jumper now can officially be sold in the USA. Okay, so however, where are they? However, the owner of Jumper, we and I were talking the other day, and he's just not 100% happy with the quality of the buttons and gimbals and switches and stuff like that. Okay. So I don't know what the story is. I just do know he's not happy with them, and he says, don't worry about it. So uh, it's good. It's, it's good. good. Yeah. But that makes me feel good that they are concerned with quality control. Um, we had to wait for the FCC certification to sell it legally here in the U.S. Um, so if you have one in the U.S., Congratulations. And typically, your early adopter, you get junk. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I so mean. That's the news with the jumper radio. So, they have been certified. Now we have to wait for the components and switches to meet the standards of the original design, original intent. Okay, so they probably cheaped out somewhere in the manufacturer and now they're yes, going back. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So, you have, just like anything, there's always a, a trade off. They're trying to keep that price real low and give you the world, but there's, I guess it was too low. And I'm sure this is a product that's outsourced. The, manu it's, the company had designed is probably not the company actually manufacturing which right. is typical in China there's a lot of companies that are making components like um, you know there's companies that make motors for this guy yep. PC boards for this guy uh, plastic injection molding might be for someone else and a lot of these companies actually either just do the assembly or in some cases Iashin cough cough um, they're literally just throwing their name on something now right so uh, it just depends on what it is right so that's that that's Jumper Radio so stay tuned join our Facebook page I'll keep everybody updated as best as possible i'll even link the fcc thing if you want to read it also ce i think that's europe has been certified so, I think so yeah. certification is good now quality needs to be increased so now that being said with the jumper product uh radio uh if you still want to see it comment below because we're kind of teetering whether or not we're going to carry it because that kind of gives us a little uneasiness about the you know with the quality control issues and all that right so comment below uh just throw the word jumper out there if nothing else just let us know if you want to see it still or not so those who have been waiting keep on waiting i promise you it'd be worth your while yeah they're not even wanting to send us a sample right. one because they're like ah no we don't because they know we're gonna rip it pretty right. hard right. so all right um, what, else, what do you have today all right so one thing i want to come up uh, talk about is so a lot of emails are coming through the latest batch and i didn't even catch this uh for a minute until i started spot checking some of the diatones uh the flight controllers have changed guys so diatone has went ahead and put mark ii flight controllers in a lot of their products uh, they're right. phasing in. So like the 349, for example, the base 349, some of the HD1, stuff like that, um, various models, they're starting to come with the newer flight controllers, not the V1s, but the Mark IIs. Um, okay. Awesome, but bad at the same time. Bad if you're a Spectrum user. Why is that? Uh, because there's no 3.3 volt pad on these anymore. So if you're running Spectrum and you're running the 4648 or a lot of these little satellite receivers, Please make a receiver that's freaking small. So this Look at work. Free Sky. I hate to say it. Look at Free Sky. Look how small the receivers are. That's what we need in this industry. Not these freaking 10 pound, three freaking foot long. What about the, that longbow receiver we have that goes, that's awesome. It's like 10 bucks and. It's great for micros. Uh, but when you start getting that three inch, 120 mile an hour quad, I don't know if it's the best right. receiver. It's not. It's um, not. That's just, something I actually want to throw one on, and I just want to fly the living crap out of okay. pretty far out and see what happens. Gotcha. But um, that's something And that, who's flying Spectrum and Quads anyway? Who are the both of you? <laughs> yeah. um, I like Spectrum. Don't get me wrong. Great radios, but they really need to step up the game on the receiver market. Um, we, th there's no excuse at this point it's been years not now. to have a 5-volt micro receiver that's worth a flip um that's not forty dollars too it's been um, it's been quite some time they have no excuse yeah they they just have not upgraded anything all right um so diatone's got new flight controls yeah so and mark twos the mamba f7 flight controller the f722 um that does not have 3.3 volt support the mamba mark ii f405 does not have 3.3 volt support and the mamba mini 
Mark II. Mark II. Does not have 3.3 volts. So if you own my Spectrum, do not get the Mark II yeah. boards. And if you are curious about the Mark series, um, the Diatone does have on their website. So you pull it up. Um, I'm sure we'll put it probably put it on the product page too. Really nice diagrams to show the pinout listing and all that. So they've done really good. They've answered a lot of questions that a lot of people were asking for. Please put good diagrams for the receivers for mm -hmm. various uh, VTXs, receivers, etc. Um, so Diatone's gone done. Right. So there you go. So frame. What's that frame? That looks pretty cool. I like this the colors. Is the anniversary edition frame. Um, we had it hydro dip. Uh, they're doing custom ones. This is one of the Grayson Hobby ones. So this is one of the bills we got coming up. So this is the F7 Mamba stack. Are we going to make that a success? Uh, this one, I'm going to leave it for cell. Oh, okay. All right. I don't have any six cell batteries. Don't do this to me. I'm not buying batteries. So um, speaking of batteries, um, tattoo. Or yes. Gen's Ace. Uh, Gen's Ace tattoo. Some of the reps came by the they other day. They came by to our shop. And we talked to Atlanta. them for a little while and they're like, well, what do you think of our batteries? I was like, well, some of our cheaper batteries are better. And they're like, oh, no, 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 no. You got to try these batteries. So they sent us two batteries. They want us to try some of the new R line. But these are 4S. We're asking, hoping for 6S. Yeah. So, so what do we do? Yeah. We already did our four cell test. I talked about doing a six cell test, but yeah. so I guess we'll have to call Gen's Ace and get have him return <laughs> these free batteries. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll do a speed test or something because the reason being is on the uh, 548 that we did. Remember this quad from the video, the 548. 131 miles an hour. Anniversary edition, 130 miles an hour. Unofficially with some radar gun. 130 mile an hour quad with the cyclone props. Um, so there is new gem fan hurricane props. They're 51 49 nines. Um, these are supposed to be their version of the cyclone, basically. Okay. Um, I'm thinking it might be a little bit Faster. quicker. So the props I had on the gem fans before, they were cavitating. They were the older flash props. Didn't even notice that. There's now a newer flash prop okay. as well. So we might go through and test different props with the new bag. Oh, so have are they have always outperformed these guys? Yeah. So we'll see. Well, they're claiming really low internal resistance yeah. on those. So, um, but I think 130 mile an hour is not the top for this. I think we can go faster with the same quad. All right. Plus, it gives me an excuse to fly to the field. So, All right. Um, and we'll do this. We'll actually do a 6S test too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll do a 